Okay, so in Unity, occasionally you want to take a quick photo of like one of your objects to, I don't know, make like an icon for a, like a shop item or something like that. So instead of having to take user snipping tool and then have to adjust the resolution a bit, make sure it imports correctly, what we can do is convert a render texture to a texture 2D. So first we're going to need a secondary camera aside from our main camera here. And this will be used to have a render texture in. So let's get the audio listener out of here because that will cause an error. All right, leave the FOV as default. And we're gonna make this our snapshot camera. And we're also gonna create a folder in our assets and call this our snapshots. And in here, we're gonna put in the render texture that we will use to make the snapshots themselves. Now let's call this our snapshot render texture. Now in our snapshot camera, we can just assign that there and now you can see how it is showing in our render texture so the resolution is fine if you want to take a square image but you can adjust it if you want to now what we're going to do is create another folder and call this editor this is going to be an editor script since you may want to like you know take multiple angles and all of that so editor and we're going to create a new class and call this our snapshot creator now we're going to go into our class Okay, so now we're in our snapshot creator class and it's not gonna derive from model behavior so we can get rid of our start and update method. And we're gonna get rid of these and do using unity editor. And we're also gonna need to use system.io so we can actually um, write our PNGs or JPEG files that we took from our render texture to our texture 2D. So now we can get rid of our model behavior and make this editor window. Now, in order to make our editor window to show, we need to create a public static void, and this is going to be our show window function. And in here, we're going to put in get window and put in our snapshot creator type. So, a type of snapshot creator, and in here we can put a title. And I'm just going to call this um something like take snapshot. And above this, to organize our window, like select thing, in on our top hot bar, we're gonna do menu item as an attribute, and inside of here, we're gonna do um, tools and then slash snapshot creator. There. Now, if we go into our Unity editor, let it compile, and we can now see that there's a tools option here on our application top thing here. And if we click on this snapshot creator, there. And it's currently empty for now because we're not really putting anything inside of it. So what we're gonna do is create a private void and call this on GUI. And this is uh, the function where we're gonna put all of our UI code for any custom editors. So what we're going to need now is references to everything we need for our snapshot to work. So we're gonna create a public camera and call this our snapshot camera. And we're going to need a public render texture reference and call this our target texture. And we are also going to need a public string, public string, and call this our snapshot name. There. Now, to actually see these variables, they do not show by default like when we have them just as public variables, if we go into our snapshot creator window, they don't show. And that is because we actually have to manually serialize these objects. So what we're going to do underneath our show window function, we're going to create a private void on enable function. And what we're going to do is create a serialized object of our own instance. So underneath all of our public variables, we're going to create a private serialized object serialized object and this allows us to get the properties we need from our class to actually show it to the user in the editor so our serialized object and let's call this our serialized snapshot creator and in our on enable code we're going to do serialized snapshot creator equals a new serialized object of type this and we're going to pass in this as an object so the current snapshot creator that was being used and now in our on GUI method we're going to want to show all of our variables so to do that we do editor 
editor GUI layout dot show or property yeah property field and inside it takes in a serialized property and to get our actual properties we take our serialized snapshot creator and we do find property and we put the name of our property inside so first we want to show in our target texture so we put that in and save it if we go back into unity and we go to tools snapshot creator you can see our target texture is now serialized and we can assign it but first we need to serialize the rest of our properties here so we're going to do one two three and replace the names with the variable names so we are serializing our target texture our snapshot camera and the snapshot name and to actually apply these variables what we do is serialized object like here, serialized snapshot creator dot apply modified properties and what this does any property that we modify with our editor GUI layout dot property field will be applied after it is modified so there and once that finishes to test it we can just do a simple debug dot log and we can put in our target texture target texture um, dot name there and now if we open up our window and you can see right now it's saying it's null but it won't be anymore because we're gonna assign it and boom there you go it is now debugging our snapshot render texture so now that we know that works we can now go back in here and we're gonna create a editor button for, for the player to actually take the snapshot so we're gonna do if GUI layout dot button and we're gonna call this uh, take snapshot all right so when we take our snapshot we want to first align the snapshot camera with the editor camera and the way we do that is actually pretty simple so what we do first is we have to get a reference to our editor camera so we do camera and we can do call this um, scene camera equals scene view dot last active scene view dot camera there and now we have a reference to the camera in our editor now what we can do is snapshot camera dot transform dot yeah transform dot set position and rotation to our scene cameras position and rotation so we do scene camera dot transform dot position and scene camera scene camera dot transform dot rotation now if we go back into unity and we have our snapshot camera selected with gizmos on and we open up our snapshot creator and we assign our snapshot camera and we hit on take snapshot let me just put this here take snapshot there the camera now aligns with the editor camera every time we click on take snapshot and we can like have it go over here you know even here also which is pretty cool I find this pretty cool all right now we want to actually take the image so to do that what we're gonna do is create another function just to have our code clean and it's gonna return a texture 2d and we're gonna call this to texture 2d and it will take in a render texture as an argument and we can call this the target <clears throat> okay so now we have a render texture. We need to set the target texture of the whole scene. So when we sample the pixels uh, for or from our uh, texture 2D, it's actually reading off of the active render texture. So before we do that though, we're gonna do texture 2D and we're gonna call this our um, result. And this will be a new render te texture 2D with the size of our target.width and target.height and we're gonna do is render texture oh, oh whoops render texture dot active equals the target so we can have it ready for sampling now we can do is results dot read pixels and it's going to be taking in a rect and the rect is pretty simple it's just a new rect and if you go into our overrides here you could see go all the way down zero x y and the width and height so where it's measured from it we're gonna of course want to start it from zero and zero and the width is going to be the target dot width and the target dot height 
So it basically goes from zero to the target width and zero to the target height. And for the dust x dust y, just put zero and zero. All right, now that we have read the pixels, we can do result.apply to actually solidify the pixels position in the texture 2D. That's quite an exaggeration, but yeah, it, it applies the pixels that it read. All right, so now that is all set up, we can just do render texture.active equals null, just in case, and then we can return our result. There. Now above, in our onGUI method, after we position the camera, we need to manually render it. So, so um, when we uh, uh, set the position and then we take a snapshot, it won't be of a previous frame. So we do scene camera dot render, and underneath that we get our texture two D. So we do texture two D and call this. Um, Texture to, uh, I guess, uh, save equals to texture 2D of our target texture that we have up there in our fields. So now we have our texture to save. We can now turn this into a PNG or JPEG. So the way we do that is the texture 2D actually has built in functions to encode itself into an EXR, JPEG, or PNG. So we do byte array and call this our image data equals texture to save. And I'm going to go with uh, PNG. So we'll do encode to PNG. And underneath, now this is when our system.io will come into play. We're going to actually write the data. So we're going to do file dot write all bytes. And for the path, we're going to do string interpolation. So use a dollar sign and then two quotation marks. And first, we're going to put in our two brackets, our curly brackets here, and put application.datapath. So application.datapath goes straight to the assets folder in Unity. So if you go back into the Unity editor, you can see our snapshots folder, right? Goes to assets, and then we can just do sna slash snapshots. So go back in here, and we do slash and then snapshots. And then after we put our slash here, we're going to put in two more curly brackets and put our snapshot name here and then dot PNG. So we actually save it as a PNG file. Now we have to pass in the image data, which is fairly simple. Just pass as an argument. And there you go. We will successfully write a new PNG from a render texture based on its size. So if we go back into unity here and we assign our variables, I already have the snapshot render here. And we put in our snapshot camera. Uh, let's just call this um, modern art because this is quite the modern art. All right, so now if we do go take snapshot and we go back into our assets and refresh, there you go, modern art, there it is. So let me just quickly put that line in there. Asset, don't forget to put that in. If, if you can't see your image, you just have to refresh it. So just do asset database dot refresh. Okay, so there, now we have modern art. And we can take a snapshot anywhere. We can like just go here, boom, and we'll overwrite it. There you go. And let's, uh, let's take another image. Let's call, this, um, let's call this a sphere. Let's take a picture of our sphere here. Take a picture of our nice sphere. Just run that again. There you go, sphere. There you go. And yeah, that is all for this tutorial. Uh, if you learned something, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial series or tutorial video. Goodbye.